Hello friends, welcome back to my channel JS Lab. Now that we have installed Anaconda in our computer, so in the last video I explained how to download and install Anaconda. So we will be using um, Jupyter Notebook and Spider for our videos. So today we will see how to write our first program in uh, an, uh, Jupyter Notebook and also in the prompt. If you type Anaconda and you can see Anaconda Navigator, click on Anaconda Navigator. Okay, it will take some time to load. Then go to uh, we need Jupyter Notebook. Okay, we have Jupyter Notebook here. So we'll click on launch. But already we have seen in the last class. Then you are in the web browser. This will be opened. Okay, so this will be a web browser based app. And you can see the uh, this is our home. Okay, it's the home page. This is our home page here. So we can um, select our di directory. Okay, so what I have done is in the desktop I have created a file called Python files. Okay, which is empty. So the same thing we can see in the um, browser in the home page. You can see the desktop. If you click, it will be Python files. So click on Python files. Okay, so whatever you stores will remain in this uh, folder. Okay, you can select your own folder. Now uh, you see here uh, you can see, you can upload. Okay, there is an upload option. You can upload files here. Then, if you want to quit and log out from this one, you can do the same here. Then, uh, when was the this, this will give the, now the set of files will come here when you save. Its name, last modified, and file size will be there. Then, go to new. Uh, there will be Python three. So uh, here, Python three will be used. If you want a text file, then it will create a text file. If you want a uh, folder. And the terminal all these things can be created we are going to use python 3 then another tab will be opened as the jupyter notebook so this is our jupyter notebook interface so jupyter notebook app is a self server client application that allows editing and running notebook documents via a web browser via a web browser so this is the interface this is where we are going to work so you can see this one this green one this is called a cell okay. and line number also will be provided this is called a cell okay. here we, we will write our program okay. so first one is uh, we will write okay, like every other programs we will also write print using print function okay. i am going to print okay. classical example hello world so i printed this one then uh, to run there are two options first you can uh, go to this one you can you can click run or click shift and enter click shift and enter or control and enter both are okay okay so this is your cell okay again you can select that one this is your command you are given and when you put run you got hello world it means output under that okay then that is represented by line one and it goes here okay that's the thing no so we'll do one thing we will we'll assign a uh, number four okay. and y equal to number five then print x plus y okay x plus y and now we are going to do, put control plus enter control plus enter now okay nine so these are the uh, so this is you have created one, one program and uh, printed that one hello world and now you have assigned a number four to a variable x five to a variable y and printed its sum and about the shortcuts and all i will upload another video about all the shortcuts in um, jupyter notebook now we will see what to do with all these things. You can see here, uh, you can see here file. If you want to go for a new notebook, okay, if you click this one Python 3, and again another tab will open where you can work fresh. Okay, that is a, a new notebook. Then if you want to uh, open an already uh, saved file in, from your directory, you can click open. Okay, it will go to the, go to our, um, directory which is python files where whenever we create a file there it will be auto saved 
okay you can see untitled one this one okay i'll close that one you can open that one at any time then make a copy okay so you can um, make a copy of this file then save as okay you can save as this one um and whatever okay, and i think you might have seen okay, if you go to our directory you have seen it, it is uh, dot ipynb that is the format that it is saved in python notebook that is extension okay. our actually the python extension is dot py okay if you want to uh, if you want to save that one in that way you can go for save as and the path will be same desktop python files you can write uh, i'm going to write one dot py okay py and i'm putting save okay. then you will go to our python files you can see one dot py here okay. one dot py okay that is the python file i'm going to delete that one because uh, just shown as a demo okay. we'll save this one okay which was in auto saved we'll save this one okay then take rename you can rename this as uh, first underscore program you can give your own name okay and rename so it is renamed so you can see that one here so it has been renamed so that's one uh, thing then save at save and checkpoint by default jupyter will auto save your notebook every 120 seconds okay here you can see auto saved okay in every 120 seconds to this checkpoint file there's a checkpoint file in the uh, directory you can see the checkpoint files here okay. to this directory it will auto save in every 120 seconds without altering your primary notebook file okay, this is your primary notebook file this one when you click save and checkpoint here when you click save and checkpoint both the notebook and the checkpoint files are updated okay so there is a checkpoint section and also the other section both are updated hence the checkpoint enables you to recover your unsaved work in the event of an unexpected issue so you can uh, click see here revert to checkpoint so see here this is today's time okay uh, you can revert back to any uh, previous unsaved uh, work okay if there is any issues happened okay so in print preview then download as print previews no need of explanation download as these are the different um, ways in which you can uh, download download as html latex dot md markdown files is used in r programming notebook file we are using pdf plus then dot uh, rst then dot py python file etc dot slides dot html in everything every way you can uh, download okay so that is the file section i'll go to uh, again I'll, I'll take a new file called python 3 okay, a new file i have taken then start x equal to 4 y equal to 5 print x plus y then I'll that one. I'll rename that one. Okay. Uh, it is untitled to uh, the second program. Okay. Second program renamed. Okay. That is second program. You can see the last checkpoint here. Okay. So here, so here we can see second program, and inside checkpoints you can see the second program here. Second program. It is also created. So whenever you click save and uh, checkpoint both the files will be updated okay so if i take i'm going to click control enter okay i will get the value of the sum now next here you can see this is the save function you can save and checkpoint now you need a cell below that so either you can use you can click this one and a new cell will be formed here then you wrote something x um, uh, z is equal to 67 s is equal to 78 then print z minus s okay and click we'll get the result now uh, this is line 2 this is line 2 okay you can see line 2 here now i want a cell in between line 1 and line 2 okay so what i can do is go click escape plus a 
one new cell will be formed in between these two okay so i am going this one i am i'm going to show how to the same thing x equal to 4 and y equal to 5 print x plus 5 on same line okay so x equal to 4 y equal to uh, you please look at the indentation okay print x plus y on the same line i can uh, you using the notation i can then i am going to click click, click enter this is okay so the same all in one line can be that if you want to cut a cell you can use this one okay if you want to cut a cell if you want to copy a selected cell, I, I can do this one using control c also okay so i click on this cell okay not inside the cell outside the cell okay so this will be selected you can see a green line here okay if you click on this one it is copied okay now if i click here and uh, do paste okay it will paste on the below cell okay now if i want to move this one up you can see, click this one move selected up move selected down you can see the this one moves up and moves down then run okay if you want to run a file uh, either you can use shift plus enter control plus enter or you can click here this one is to interrupt the kernel that means stop the uh, program so kernel is a program that runs and interprets the user's code okay ipython includes a kernel for python code and people have written kernels for several other languages also okay that's, so that is called what is called as kernel you can see here a term called kernel if you click on that one you can see interrupt the kernel a notebook kernel is a computer computational engine that executes the code contained in a node notebook document so there are some codes written here in order to execute that one there is a computational engine that is called kernel many languages kernels are present okay so you can interrupt restart restart and clear output restart and run all reconnect shut down change kernel okay. all these things are available here in the edit section you can see cut cells copy cells how to cut copy how that means how to move down more how to modify the cells those things are there in the and if you want to delete a so view toggle header toggle toolbar toggle line bar cell toolbar okay. you can customize then insert a cell above and cell below that i show that i have shown you using um, a shortcut if you want cell above click escape a so one cell above is formed if you want a cell below this one escape plus b then cells how to run cells all the cells then run cells and select below run cells and insert below run all okay so based on your need you can click then kernel i already uh, shown okay. then some some widgets and also if you want some helps okay so there are key, keyboard shortcuts and you can edit keyboard shortcuts that means your own shortcuts can be added etc okay so these things are uh, our introduction to the programming uh, programming and we have written our first program in the previous program we have written our first program on jupyter notebook same can be done on jupyter prompt also okay so we'll see how so go to anaconda prompt anaconda prompt so first we'll check what uh, what is the version of the python python space version this is the version 3.8.3 then we we need to start python right python so our um, prompt has come now the same program that means i am going to print print hello world hello world click enter you'll get the hello world that quotation mark i have not closed the quotation mark okay so that's why an error okay you can see the hello print hello world and the hello world is printed okay. the previous one it was it show error because the hello world was not ended the uh, quotation started here is not ended here that's why it shows so you can see here it shows a an error okay the, here there is a problem there's an error no, so that is how you can write the program in the prompt now if you want to quit that exit right exit and you exit back to the 
anaconda prompt so this is how you can write the program in anaconda prompt so now you guys you have seen how to write program in anaconda notebook as well as anaconda prompt more on variables and how to what are the naming rules in python and what are the data types in python we will be discussing in the coming videos if you have any uh, suggestions or comments or doubts you can you may please write in the comment section below and if you like my videos please subscribe my channel for more videos we'll see you in the next video bye thank you